Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a all sins team with the 30% basic stat bonus. So I wanted to add Queen Diam mainly because she tanks pretty well as it is. So let's see how she does with the 30% increased basic stats. That means 30% more defense, 30% more HP. Even the attack increase would be nice as well. Uh, we're running Green Gotha just for the increased stat boost. And then we have the ultimate one who is our main DPS here. Gotha's got rank up, he's got... Uh, He's got increased stats, he's got pumpkin bombs, you know. Pretty useful character, of course we've got Bar on the back because he's also a Sin. So even if, let's just say, Deanne dies, we only lose 30% basic stats. That's right, we only lose uh, Gotha's passive, we don't actually lose the 30% basic stats. Which is a pretty uh, pretty key thing in this. Of course I will also be running CC food, because I want to go first. But anyway, that's it. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're now onto the first match. Which is a player, as it seems. Uh, hopefully, not a demon whale team or a goddess team. A sin team. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a lot better than uh, versing the normal disgustingness that I normally verse. Okay, six six, six six. Okay, so I'm versing a whale, um, <clears throat> which is very fun, of course. Uh, so we are going to start, of course, with the upgrade on Escanor. I'm going to do this, and then we have Punky Bombs. Punky Bombs, just in case they're running Evade Food, or uh, just so we can stop all Rush. Mainly to stop all Rush. There you go. Boom. Queen Deanna, of course, are being our tank here, is a key component of this team. Oh, perfect. This is going to be so my mate. What I want to do is next turn I'm going to upgrade Escanor again, and then I'm going to try and one shot Queen Deanna. As well, okay, so they are just trying to outrush, but I don't think they realize. Outrushing is probably not the best thing to do, especially with against this. Okay, so we do tank it decently well, which is good. Queen Deanne, of course, having 30% more HP is pretty good. Uh, if he doesn't have the AoE, he'll lower my HP by quite... Okay, I, I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to upgrade Escanor. And I'm going to single target... And then single target. Maybe I should have single targeted Deanne first to remove the damage reduction on melee. But to be honest, I didn't think it that far through. I just wanted to double single target. There's a finishing blow. Melee's dead. And now this will now kill Queen Deanne, so he doesn't have a torn character. He still does have the basic stats because there's only one character on the field. Uh, he's also, of course, his HP. Uh, he has got a lot of Escanor cards, which is not the best. Okay, he can get a Golden Escanor card, which is slightly painful, but we still should be fine. We got the damage reduction, uh, got Golden Escanor card ourselves, so we should be fine. Uh, just going for Escanor's ult, which is pretty standard. <laughs> uh, of course, we should tank this decently fine. It's Queen Deanne, after all. Boom. She heals back quite a bit. She might die here. Watching she, she, she shouldn't. She didn't die the first time. Oh, just about survived that. As you see, his Escanor's now been disabled. But a 6-6 six, six Escanor still will be devastating uh, if I let it go off. So it's got 120,000 HP. I'm probably going to do this, this, and now this. So worst case scenario is that this doesn't kill the first initial hit. Which it doesn't. It does. Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, we have one. There's nothing he can do now. Uh, of course, we AoE here, which will kill off Barn. Four, nearly 400k. That's insane. Another Escanor AoE. So let's just say they do even, let's just say this Escanor does get a golden AoE. Still wouldn't work. Just gonna go bar on the back for the wipe. As you can see, going first, especially with a team like this with the 30% basics, that is insane. Of course, with the, when you are seeing this, it is uh, the the event's probably gone. The reason I'm recording this during the event is I have COVID. So just trying to get videos out, because I you've probably got had about five dull videos about how to build an animation one because I'm not well currently. And I'm using time where I am a little bit, feeling a little bit better to record. Anyway, on to the next match. On to another match. <laughs> oh god, S team. Oh no. I think, oh we go first, just about. Oh my god. Okay. Thank goodness we're not versing a goddess Liz. Uh, we're versing bloody Ellie instead, which I'd prefer to verse actually. Uh, on levels, I'm guessing, decently high, 6-6, six, 6-6, six, 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 okay, so this is another whale. Uh, we're doing this. Just the default start, they don't have evade food, and of course they can cleanse as well. 
but I'd rather be out the cleanse now. Unfortunately, they're not using the 30% uh, basic stat rule, so we do have the advantage there. And of course, we're not pulling any good cards. Um, I don't want to double AoE. Do I want to remove Liz, or do I want to remove Margaret? Liz is very irritating, especially with Red Tar milling. I might go for Margaret, just for the sake of uh, the removing the cleanse, because they're probably, yeah, as, as I thought, they're just rushing Margaret's ult, which is a pretty standard thing people do. I don't understand why. Margaret's always good, but when you don't have types and basic stats, it's uh, you're losing quite a bit. I don't think it's really worth running a Liz for types and basic stats. Uh, so we're going to do this, this, and now this. This should kill. The first AoE with our Skidmore will get back to full HP, which will get maximum out of the um, effect. Look at that damage. That's insane. Queen Deanne should not do that much, but it's Queen Deanne, so she's not really meant for damage. 34k, it's not the worst. Eskinor will kill here. Because it's Eskinor. Crits every hit. God damn, I love I love seeing that. So they can't actually they can't even get the Liz heal this time because they only played three cards. Uh, okay, I, I am actually gonna probably go for the kill on Liz. Uh, mainly because if I kill uh, my L, they'll get the um, They'll get the 30% basic stats. They might even make, make them my other threat just so I go for the kill. If they know that the, the other rules on. I doubt they know that the rules on. Okay, are they going for my LOL? Okay, they are going for my LOL. Okay, so I, I am actually going to have to kill my L because I will not survive a 4 6 my LOL. We tank decently well. So what I will be doing is. is your S I'm guessing you're asking on 6 6. 3 6, okay. So we are going to taunt up here, and I'm going to do this. So this will remove my old gauge. He can't merge either, which is good. Uh, we can't have our ult removed, which is also good. And now we've got 6 6 Queen Diana, which should do a lot of damage. We also did pull an Esquinaut, uh, and also they just lost the damage reduction from uh, Thingy, whatever her name Margaret is as well. So it's going to be quite devastating. My plan is to a uh, AoE with Eskinor first, then ult, then single target, probably Liz. Because, like, they are going to get the heal off this turn, so I would like to try and kill Liz. Uh, attacking her will not get them too far. She has got a taunt up, so she's got the damage reduction. Yeah, they're not doing much. Queen Deanne does not care. She is so tanky with 30% more basic stats. So we are going to do this, and then this. Then, if possible, I'm pretty sure she should just be able to wipe like the majority. Okay, yeah, we are wiping it with with the with the increased stats from Gotha. This is insane. We're getting stupidly high attack rate stats. Boom! There's the 700k ungeared. Yeah, this team is very powerful with this, especially with the Gotha buff as well. This is actually insane. That's a good damage. Look, Queen Deanne did a lot. Of course, I, I didn't really get that many Eskinor cards, but as you can see, Queen Deanne did a lot of damage. Of course, Gotha, it's mainly because of Gotha, but anyway. On to the next one. On to another match. Uh, hopefully, this is a player. Do we go first? So, this is a, once again, someone not using the rule. Uh, of course, they do have that woman. So, it will be a lot more painful, uh, unfortunately, but of course, we're just going to have to put up with it. Upgrade Eskinor, this, and then this. So... I'm hoping they have evade food, or they just don't have any food on at all. No food, okay, so this is fine. Uh, I was kind of expecting either food or no food. Uh, okay, they do have Denashi in the back, okay, that is slightly more irritating. I could just rush Eskinor's ult and be a big pain. Uh, this could be a bot, only because I don't think I've ever seen anyone not pop a Liz shield immediately, unless this is some weird player. Uh, I am probably going to be triggering the res on Liz. I don't think Liz has her Atomia link either. I'll find out anyway when I click. I'll check. Do you have the the Horrible Man link? You do have that link. Okay, and you're 5-6. Uh, you're also 5-6, and you're 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Maybe i just play like a little scumbag instead. I think this is, I think this is a better approach. My L is disabled. Uh, they oh, actually this is no, this is a problem. Uh, actually no, my L's, oh, no, this is actually fine. 
As unless they got double stun, then it probably double stun. It's Liz. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you didn't have to do that twice. Um, I might do this. So this should break the shield because I can't do anything else. Uh, and then I go for maybe the kill on my L and then AOE again to hopefully go for the other kill. So this was 100% break the shield. And did a lot of damage. Okay, I was not expecting that much damage actually. Uh, this should trigger the revive. Yeah, it triggers the res. He now loses in the Nashi. This sh may wipe the entire team. Oh, Margaret died. And that wipes the entire team. There you go. I was not expecting that. Uh, Nanashi uh, doesn't actually belong to any characteristics, so he doesn't even get the boost by himself, which is kind of sad. Decent damage from Nanashi, though, I give him that. Uh, unfortunately, it's GG. Because Erskineau is going to do too much now. Yeah, look at that. Level 1, full oh, HP. <laughs> stupid damage. Absolutely stupid damage. Level one. So he's like, you, if you didn't have the thirty percent basic stats, this this was, this team would still be very good. Uh, it was a bot, but still, like, it, it, like look at that, one million damage. Like, yes, you know, I, it, it's a bot still, but this is insane. This damage is actually insane. Anyway, on to the next one. Welcome to the final match. We're versus a full collaboration team. Feels really good seeing someone using a different team for a change. Uh, I do feel kind of bad though, uh, mainly because I guess they're going for basic stats on her, which is a good team. Of course, what we are going to do is we're going to play the normal game, which is resolve and then upgrade Escanor. My plan is to kill Gislaine first. Like, pretty much, I want to. Okay, yeah, I'm killing Gislaine next turn. <laughs> she is dead. <laughs> It's unfortunate. Because it's impossible to pull double stun, unfortunately, for them. She's doing decent damage, I give her that. That's, that's like. She did remove my stance. Pierce card goes for Eskinol. I think that was probably a, quite a big mistake from them. Only because. Now I can just go. And I can now, if I remove Gislaine, they've got Nanashian backs so and they lose the 30% basic stats. And Gislaine should die to this. Maybe not the AoE. Oh my god, she's really tanky. Okay, probably not. I may have fumbled. Come on, big damage. Let's get on. No, it said I got a loading symbol. God damn it. This guy, Gislaine's very tanky, man. I didn't realize she was that tanky. Of course, if they do send my Eskimo, they do have to one-shot my Eskimo here and then hit the double kill. So if they hit my Eskimo with... Okay, yeah, my Eskimo will die here. This is a level 2. She hits so hard. Look at that damage. Man. That's insane. Yeah, my Eskimo does die here, which is slightly unfortunate. Golden Echidna card, of course. She does heal. Okay, maybe they should have... Gone. Okay, I can't kill any of them. If I kill, the only one I can probably kill is legitimately the only person I can probably kill is a Kidna. So we're gonna do the upgrade just for the sake of doing the upgrade. Eskinor does die this turn, but it should be fine. Oh, it still does a hell of a lot of damage. I give him that. They should kill a Kidna. She's got like no HP. There we go. That's fine. Uh, I am probably dead because Gizlane's just going to shatter up my entire team. They do lose the 30% basic stats. This person has bought outfits for Nanashi, so they are very serious about uh, their unknown team. Bond tanked it, which is kind of surprising. And of course, if they had the 30% basic stats, I'd be screwed. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Unfortunately, we did match up against uh, a very well built Gizlane who probably has all outfits uh, from the way she tanked, and of course, they have Relic and all outfits for Nanashi as well.
My guess is they're probably running some sort of defense food because they have they had outfits for her. Uh, I'm guessing they probably had outfits for these because they had outfits for him as well. So they're probably running defense food just to tank a little bit more. But yeah, that that proves that Gizlane is very is a very very good tank. Look at that damage. Yeah, she's insane of a tank. Like to survive an Eskinor Golden AOE and a single target, that's a very good tank. I will I would like to make a video on her with the collab team during this event, but I'm not going to summon until I've done. Uh, the until we've got the the free multis, just because it's no point me wasting diamonds on a, especially on a fail collab like this. Honestly, this is probably one of like she's the best character to come from this collaboration. I don't care what anyone says. She has the most future proof uh, in comparison to, of course, the like failure of a character which is Rudius, who he, like yeah he's so he's so, he, he's got a single target card. Roxy likes single target cards. Only hits once. His crit chance is uh, is lower because Lane has higher attack related stats. 20% more, <laughs> she has 20% more crit damage and 10% more crit chance base. Yeah, I don't understand what they're trying to do with him. Uh, I think that she was probably the main selling point anyway for them doing this collab and the fact that they think that she she probably is going to make them the most money over uh, any of the other characters combined. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.